What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new reaction and today we're talking about one of my favorite things in the world, animals. But not just any animals, British animals you won't find in America. You know, when I seen this title, I sat right here and I stared at this here wall for about 15 minutes trying to think of an animal that y'all have that we don't, couldn't do it. Could not do it. This video is going to be strictly we are here to learn. Like, I, I, everything is new to me at this point. <laughs> like, I literally just couldn't think of anything. Like, and it was honestly making me mad because I feel like it's going to be, like, a super obvious answer. Like, an obvious animal. But, hey, that's why we're here. Let's watch this. Let's find out. And let's see what type of animals y'all got that we don't. Hopefully, y'all got some cute stuff. That's all I'm here for, all right? <laughs> so, we're about to get into it. If y'all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100K. Once you do me in the UK theme tattoo, drop a like if you want to see more reactions like this. Go check out my second channel. Link down in the description. We've been going super hard over there, uploading pretty consistently dropping nothing but bangers so if you haven't checked that out go check it out link in the description but other than that listen listen don't say anything about my farmer stand okay i've been trying to like roll my sleeves up every time i go outside to like let them get a little bit better it ain't happening they're only getting worse so <laughs> let's get into it hi i'm siobhan thompson and this is anglophenia now i don't want to sound controversial or anything but i love cute animals i love them but we there's a do. bunch of we British wildlife that doesn't exist in the US, probably because they never figured out how to get across that pesky little ocean. So, here are seven native we'll British species that you don't have in America, but shh, they startle easily. Hedgehogs. You know these little guys. Oh, they're so cute. They're about the size of a softball, and if you're very lucky, you'll see them snuffling about at night looking for insects. Wait a minute, what? We don't have hedgehogs? I swear I feel like I've seen a hedgehog. Like... Maybe it was like at the zoo or something. Yo, I did not know we didn't have hedgehogs. I feel... Can you have them as pets? I feel like I know somebody that has a hedgehog. <laughs> I don't know why, but like, yo, that's crazy. I did not know we didn't have hedgehogs. Their spines aren't poisonous or barbed, so you can pick them up if you're very careful, but I wouldn't because they have fleas and also they're wild animals, so don't do that. Also, if you paint them blue and roll them down a hill, they'll collect gold coins for you very fast. <laughs> True story. <laughs> no. Robins. Look, I know you think that you have robins, but you don't. What you have just looks like a robin, but American robins were named after these little pals because they have the same coloring. Robins are a common garden bird that love to sing. They're around all year. AKA, they're annoying. <laughs> but are particularly associated with Christmas, probably because their colors pop against a snowy background. Basically every other Christmas color. Helps all the predators see them, I uh, guess. Yeah, <laughs> something like this. Huh. Pine martins. Pine martins are rare tree-dwelling mammals that are mainly found in the forests of Scotland. They okay. look like something like a cross between a cat and a squirrel and are in the same family as weasels and badgers. See, this is what I came here for. That's cute. Well, uh, it's kind of cute. It's like, I want one, but like if I got it, I'd keep it outside. Like, that's how cute it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I need one. <laughs> they have brown fur, big bushy tails, and you should see them eat a pine cone. Oh, it's adorable. They're incredibly <laughs> reclusive creatures, yeah. and you can normally only tell if they live in a particular habitat by finding their scat. You know, poo. There's actually Ooh. people that do this as a hobby because, well, what can I say, we're a nature-loving country. Hey, people in America, they literally will walk the woods looking for raccoon poo. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. Slow worms. Slow worms look like tiny little snakes, but they're actually a type of lizard. No. They have vestigial arm and leg bones inside their bodies, and if they're attacked, their tails fall off. They're beloved by wait, gardeners. Wait, 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 what? We, we have a lizard in America. I, I call it a blue tail lizard. I don't know if that's the name of it or not, but it has a blue tail. And like, whenever it gets scared or something, it will drop its tail. I wonder if they're related somehow, but like, that ain't a lizard. That's a snake. If it ain't got legs, it ain't a lizard, bro. It's <laughs> because they're great at pest control and also by me, because I think they're cool. They mostly no. hide under rocks and my sister and I used to spend hours looking for them when we were kids, which no. I guess is just how you find entertainment if you grew up in the 17th century as I did. Roe deer. Roe deer are pretty small as deer go. They're about two feet high to the shoulder and weigh about the same as a biggish dog. They live in the woods and are pretty common in rural areas. You'll often see them startled by headlights on the road at night. In the original Bambi book, Bambi and his family were all roe deer, but Disney changed them to white-tailed deer because Americans were more familiar with them because oh. clearly they look so different. Blue that's, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that. I didn't even know there was other type of deer for some reason. I thought all deer were white-tailed deer. Huh. 
That's actually pretty interesting. These little blue and yellow birds are also common garden visitors. They're legendary nuisances to British milkmen, pecking through the tops of milk bottles to steal drinks. There's huh? a wide variety in the family of tits. There's long-tailed tits, crested tits, great tits. Why are you giggling? I'm not, I'm not. Red I'm not. <laughs> Hold on. What? I'm going to the UK. <laughs> Squirrels. Red squirrels have decreased dramatically over the past hundred years, mostly because of the introduction of the bigger, more aggressive American grey squirrel. I was about to say, they gotta be cousins or something. Honestly, that's cultural colonialism for you. The most famous fictional hey, red squirrel- I'm gonna be honest. I know a couple dudes that look like that. I really do. I know a couple humans that look exactly like that. Yeah. Yeah, not the, not the most handsomest things walking around. <laughs> squirrel is of course Squirrel Nutkin by Beatrix Potter, a wonderful Victorian children's story whose moral is don't be annoying to adults or you'll get eaten alive. Seems fair. Yeah. So there you have it. Do you have a favorite British animal? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Definitely ain't that worm, snake, lizard looking thing, uh-uh. Yeah, if you would have told me all of those were in America, I would have believed you. I really would have. But all right, guys, that is going to do it for British animals you won't find in America. I I didn't know any of those. The hedgehog really shook me. Like, I really thought we had hedgehogs in America. Like, my dog literally has a toy that we just threw away like two days ago because she chewed it up. But she had a stuffed animal of a hedgehog. Like, <laughs> so that one's kind of wild. And then the, the snake looking thing, it dropping its tail and being a lizard like the lizards we have, that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, if y'all know any other animals that y'all got that maybe we don't have or we have that y'all don't got, let me know down in the comments. I'm interested in them. And if y'all want to see more reactions like this, let me know by hitting that like button. And if y'all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100k once we do me in a UK themed tattoo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go out today. Spread love, spread kindness, do something nice to somebody today. I love you guys so much. I really do. JT Reaction, I'm out. Peace.